This question appeared in IES 2021 paper, paper one. For a monopsonist, what is the relation between the supply of an input and the marginal expenditure? On it? So what is a monopsony? Monopsony is the case of a single buyer. It is opposite to a monopoly. Monopoly was a case of a single seller in the market. Now, there's a single buyer in the input market, right? So uh, let, let me write one line, monopsony. Is a case of single buyer in labor market. Right. So, supposedly, if I am, I am the firm, and uh, I am the only firm who is demanding labor. So if I'm the only firm who is demanding labor, then the entire labor market is only supplying to me. So I am facing the entire market supply curve of the labor. That is true. I am the firm who is the only one who is demanding labor. So the entire labor is being supplied to me. So I am facing the entire market supply curve for labor. If there is only one firm, only one firm or only one buyer firm in the labor market then this firm faces the entire market supply curve of the labor. Of the labor. Now, if I'm going to increase, I'm the firm, I'm the only firm who is buying labor. If I want to increase the labor, right? If I want to have more labor, then I can have more labor only at a higher price. I have to give them the higher wage. But the problem is that in order to move to the higher point of the supply curve, I have to give the higher wages even to the previous units of the labor, not only to the marginal unit of the labor. So for example, the earlier three units of labor, I was employing at $6. Now, if I want to employ one more unit of labor, I have to give $8. Now, but that $8 will be given to all the previous three also, not only the fourth one. That's the point to increase the hiring of labor by one unit, right? It must, it means it means the monopsony firm, it must move to a higher point on this supply curve. of a labor, right? So this will involve paying the higher wage, not only to the additional unit, but also to the all previous units. You will have to write these points in your answer. It will involve
paying not only the higher wage, to the marginal worker, but also additional wage. to those workers who were already employed. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> and we will show that the marginal expense of hiring this additional worker will exceed the wage rate. This is what we're going to show, right? The marginal expense associated with the hiring extra worker therefore exceeds its wage rate. Therefore exceeds its wage rate. Now you think about it. The total cost of labor to the firm is what? So firm is hiring, let's say, L units of labor and it is paying wage rate W dollars per hour. So what is the marginal expenditure on the labor? Del WF by Del L. So that would be first function as it is into derivative of second function with respect to L. So derivative of L with respect to L is one plus second function as it is into derivative of W with respect to L is del W by L. Now, if this would have been the case of the perfect competition, then wage rate is given. You can employ as much of labor at a given wage rate, right? So in competitive case, Del W by Del L is equal to zero, right? In competitive case, if this would have been the competitive market, then Del W by Del L is zero, right? So you can have as much of labor at a given wage rate. And the marginal expense of labor would be equal to the wage rate, but that is true only in the competitive case. While <clears throat> in monopsony, when the firm is facing the positively slow uh, supply curve, positively slope supply curve.
then del w by del l is greater than zero. Del w by del l is greater than zero. Then in that case, m e l, which is the sum of w and the product of l and del w by l. But here l is positive, del w by l is positive, w is positive, so m e l is going to be greater than w, right? So this would imply m e l is greater than w. m e l is greater than w. So that is this is the relation between the supply and the marginal expense. So you can also show it using a table. So supposedly you have the wage rate 0, 1, 2, 3. Or I can also write wage rate like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Right? And I am employing this label. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is going to give me the supply curve. So this is labor here. This is wage rate. So you have what? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you have what? Two, four, six, eight, and ten. So at zero units of labor, you have zero, right? Sorry, at zero units, at zero dollar of wage rate, you have you're employing zero units of labor. At two dollars, you're employing one labor. At four dollar this $6, $3, $8, 4 $5, $10. So this is what my supply curve of the labor is. Right? This is what my supply curve of the labor is. Okay. Now, just think about what is the total cost or the total factor cost. This is the total factor cost. Right? Total factor cost. How much that will be? Zero, two, eight, eighteen, thirty-two, fifty. Right. I need to find out my marginal factor cost also. That is what my marginal expenditure curve is. Uh -huh. Marginal factor cost. Marginal factor cost. What will this be? 2 minus 0, 2. 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2, 6. 18 minus 8, 10. 32 minus 4, uh, 18, 14. 50 minus 32, 18. Right? Let me just plot this. So I'm going to plot it like this. So since I'm going to plot this between 0 and 1. Or, uh, yeah, between 0 and 1. Right? So this will be to somewhat like this, huh? between this, right? Between one and two, it is six. So I'm writing between because, I mean, it is changing its structure now. It is marginal is, bit, it moves from two to eight. So I'm just writing it for between. I mean, some books write it whichever way. So, between 2 to 3, it is 10. Uh, between 3 and 4, it is 14. Between 
between three and four, it is 14. And between four and five, it is 18. Between four and five, it is 18. Hmm? Just something like this. Huh? So just mark these points here. Right. So this is what my marginal factor cost or marginal expenditure of labor. So this is steeper than the supply curve of labor. And uh, this is more than the supply curve of labor when the monopsonist form is facing the upward sloping supply curve, which it faces. Right. So this is what is expected in the answer. Thank you, Vita.